Yo Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to delete VSTs from your plugin list in FL Studio. So I'm gonna be showing you two ways on how to do this. One of them is gonna be how to just get rid of the plugin uninstalled so you never use it again. And one of them is gonna be how to get rid of it from your list. So you, if, you, if you're not using a plugin for now, you can get rid of it and then bring it back later, okay? So both of these are gonna help you out a lot in terms of cleaning up your plugin list and helping you get to the plugins that you use the plugins that you want to use faster and easier in fl studio so definitely watch this video all the way till the end now if you don't know who i am i'm jay carter ray from jaycarterray.com teaching you how to be better at music online business and online marketing this is the number one spot for musicians and creators that don't want to be starving artists so if that sounds like you click on that subscribe button check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here guaranteed now my question of the day is what are your three favorite plugins right now let me know in the comment section down below that'll be very very interesting so there are two ways to do this first i'm going to show you the way that gets it off your list this is the list that i'm talking about because this is the list that i use you might use a list on the left i don't use that so that's not what we're talking about here we're talking about this list yeah in order to get rid of plugins from this list for example let's get rid of rewired because i don't even know what that does let me just show you how to do that go to options then we go to manage plugins then we wait for this to load up and basically once this loads you'll see all the plugins on the left okay so we can see all these plugins that are already there actually i'm unsure if you can actually get rid of the fl studio plugins might be able to now nah, i don't think you can I don't think you can unless you actually uninstall them. So let's not get rid of Rewire. We'll just get rid of one of these that I actually, you know, would use at some point. So we'll get rid of Addictive Keys, okay? So in order to do that, we just need to click on the start over here. And now if we try and go to Addictive Keys, it's still there right now because we need to load a new session for this to come into effect. So as you can see, we still see addictive keys here. In order to show you this example, I've got to close down FL Studio and come back into it. So let's do that. And now it should refresh. And now addictive keys should no longer be there. As you can see, addictive drums is there, addictive keys is not. So let me go back there. We go to manage plugins. And let's actually turn addictive keys back on because I might use that one day. <laughs> I haven't used keys in a very long time, but I might, I might use that one day. Okay, so now we come back into it, addictive keys is right back up there, okay? So that's that's how you get your plugins in and out of your plugin list in FL Studio. Now, if, you want, if you're using a plugin or you've got a plugin that's in the list that you just don't wanna use anymore, or you're not going to use, maybe it's one of the FL Studio built-in plugins, or maybe it's another plugin that you've installed, but you're just not using it, it's just taking up space, and you're not going to use it ever again. That is when you need to uninstall. So in order to do that, you can come to the start menu and go to uninstall, type in uninstall, and you'll get this where it says add or remove programs. You can come right here, click that, and it'll take you exactly where you need to go. Or you can go the long way and go to control panel, and then you'll see add or remove programs in there if you go to control panel. Now, here is where you'll see all your plugins okay so if there are any plugins that i want to get rid of right about now let's say ample guitar i don't want that anymore all we need to do is come into here click search this list and go to ample and here you see ample guitar and then if we click that uninstall button it will get rid of it and that's basically what you want to do okay so just search for your plugin in here I'm unsure if you can get now. Nah, you can't get rid of the FL Studio plugins this way. You'd have to actually go into FL and, and delete those personally. But all the other plugins that you install, third party plugins, all the third party plugins that you install, you can get rid of those and uninstall them using this method. Okay. So that's how you delete plugins and VSTs from your plugin list in FL Studio. Very, very simple, very, very straightforward. If you want your beat half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage and save yourself a bunch of time and have your beat sounding more professional, you can grab my FL Studio beat mixing templates down below. Go to jcartarray.com forward slash guitar trap FL. Now, 
If you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, please let me know in the comment section. And in the next video, you'll learn more about music, online business, and online marketing. I'll see you there. Peace out.